Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ball Beauty here. I hope you guys had a good New Year's and you're ready for whatever 2019 has to throw at you. So let's just get started. Today I'm going to be focusing on brows. And for some people like me, you don't have any eyebrows or eyelashes or any hair anywhere. <laughs> so you might struggle with this like I do on a daily basis, or you might just have thin brows and you just want to figure out how to make them look a little bit thicker. But any which way, I am going to show you how I do my eyebrows and hopefully this helps. So let's just get started. I'm going to actually first take these bad boys off. Okay, so now that I've taken my brows off and I look like an expressionist clown, I've moisturized just because, let's face it, it's winter time, it's dry, it's cold, eczema life. So moisturize, always moisturize. Now I'm going to take my e.l.f. brow pencil. This is in the shade dark brown and it comes like this and it has a spoolie on the end of it and a thick brow pencil right here. So usually what I like to do when I first started doing my brows is kind of feel around where I would kind of want my brows to sit over my eyes. And I'm just going to take that pointed end, this one right here, and their brow pencils don't come like this. They actually come with a very pointy tip after it kind of loses that tip, I take it and I make a little diagonal on it. I feel like that really helps me. But again, use whatever pencil you like. This pencil helps just because since I don't have any brow hairs, it just helps fill it in a lot faster. So I'm just actually going to take that tip and start sketching very lightly where I would want the bottom of the brow to sit. So let's just do that. Like so. Now that you kind of have a line to work with, I'm just going to take that other side, the flatter side, and start filling in from the bottom. And it's a lot easier if you go from thinner to thicker and if you just do it very lightly, just because it's easier to wipe off less product bring it a little closer now I'm gonna actually just follow the line at this point and bring the pencil just on top of that line to create that arch. Now, if you mess up, use your finger, use a makeup wipe, use whatever you have. You can even use the spoolie on the other side. Just wipe off whatever you don't like and just keep going on. Take that other side, start filling in little missing gaps. Now I like a rounder eyebrow. As you can see, I don't really like too much arch. This is just basically an everyday brow. It's nothing too fancy, but you look like a person at the end of it. So. This is what works for me. 
I'm also going to bring it out a little bit more just so it's not in the middle here but it's not going to be a huge gap when you have both brows. Okay, and voila, eyebrow number one. So it is very important for people to understand this. Eyebrows do not have to look alike. Great if you can do it, I envy those people, but they just have to look similar. As everybody says, your brows are supposed to be sisters, not twins. So similarity, yes. Thickness, length, yes. <laughs> One eyebrow can't be up here and the other one's down here. They do have to be relatively on the same vibe, okay? So do the exact same thing. Take that same tip, this one right here, and just sketch out where you would want your brow to go. One thing I find helpful is if I take the brow pencil, you just kind of draw an imaginary line or even actually draw a line if you're not comfortable yet from the bottom to there, where I would think I'd want the brow to start. And then just draw a line, like we did before, very lightly. Remember, we can always take it off. The really nice part about not having eyebrows is that if you really don't like how it looks, you can just wipe the damn thing off. Instead of having to take it and try to fix it, just, nope, wipe it off, start again. <laughs> so this next step is totally optional. If you're happy with how your brows look now, they're even, they're everything you want them to be, go ahead, skip this step. But sometimes if you want them to look a little bit more dimensional, you can take a darker pencil. I'm going to take this black pencil, it's also from e.l.f., it's an eyeliner, and just very lightly I'm going to create brow hairs. And one thing that I can say is just hold the pencil from like the very tip and apply absolutely no pressure. And then just do little swipe up motions. And this will create the illusion as if there are brow hairs right there if you don't have any at all. Just do little swipe up motions in the direction your hair would normally grow in. And this will give them if peop like a look that if people are close to you, it'll at least look like you have brow hairs instead of just something drawn on. And yeah. So that's how I draw my eyebrows on. For the longest time, I have had no clue how to draw my eyebrows on. It's only now for the past, I want to say, eight months that I've been able to draw my eyebrows freehand. But before that, when my eyebrows first started falling out, I was using eyebrow stencils. And I got them, a friend actually gave this to me, and it's also a product from e.l.f. And it comes with... A whole bunch of stencils and powders and gels and that's one thing that really helped me so if you really don't know how to do your eyebrow and you just cannot draw it for the life of you my suggestion is stencils and you just place them on your eye exactly where you want your eyebrow to go and then just fill it in either with a gel or a pencil okay guys and here it is this is the completed tutorial I hope this answered any questions that you have. If you have any videos that you want me to do or you have any additional questions, leave it in the comment box down below. I'll answer it as soon as I can. As always, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any videos coming out. And I'll see you guys in another video very soon. Bye!